Welcome to Study Room 26, where we explore fascinating scenarios and intriguing questions. Today, we're going to explore a topic that might be a bit scary to think about, but it's one that's been on the minds of scientists and curious individuals alike. What would happen if the sun exploded tomorrow? As we all know, the sun is the star at the center of our solar system, providing heat, light, and energy to the planets orbiting around it. However, it's important to note that the sun is not invincible. In fact, it's estimated to be about 10 billion years old and only has another 5 billion years left in its lifespan. After that, the sun will expand and become a red giant before eventually shrinking to become a white dwarf, a cooling, dying star that will last for billions of years. But what if the sun were to explode before that time? Firstly, it's important to note that we wouldn't see the explosion as it happened. The Sun is located 150 million kilometers away from Earth, and it takes eight minutes for light from the Sun to reach us. Even with a name like Supernova, a solar explosion wouldn't be a magnificent fireworks show that we could enjoy. Furthermore, for Earth to be completely safe from a supernova, we'd need to be at least 50 to 100 light years away. If the Sun were to explode tomorrow, the resulting shockwave wouldn't be strong enough to destroy the whole Earth, but it would boil the side facing the sun instantly, while the other half would experience a rise in temperature 15 times hotter than the sun's current surface temperature. Without the sun's mass keeping us in orbit, Earth would likely start floating off into space, while its remaining inhabitants struggle to stay alive. There is a chance that our planet could lock into orbit around another star that might provide the same light and heat as the sun, but by the time that happened, we'd all be long gone. If we knew in advance that the sun would explode, we could buy ourselves as many as 1,000 years of time, provided we had the resources to sustain ourselves for that long. Civilization could continue to live by moving underground into a network of fortified bunkers. Within a week after the explosion, the surface temperature on Earth would drop to minus 18 degrees. Within a year, temperatures would plummet to about minus 73 degrees, causing the oceans to freeze from the top down. Within 1,000 years, Earth's atmosphere would freeze and collapse, leaving anything left on the surface exposed to cosmic radiation and meteor impacts. The good news is that if the sun were to explode, and it will eventually happen, it wouldn't happen overnight. When the sun dies, it will be a long, slow, arduous process taking place over billions of years. The sun will get hotter and brighter, and it will start to expand. During this process, it will lose its outer layers to the cosmos, leading to the creation of other stars and planets in the same way that the violet burst of the Big Bang created Earth. Who knows, maybe new life could form. Can you imagine a new humanoid species on a distant planet? It's hard to predict how our galaxy might look billions of years from now, and it's especially hard to imagine our solar system without the great golden anchor that keeps us all together. But one day, in the very distant future, the sun will expand and then shrink, leaving room for a new star to take its place. If, by some miracle, humanity still exists at that point, where might we be living? Can you imagine your descendants being born on a space station? It's an exciting thought and a story for another fascinating science episode. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Study Room 26 for more fascinating scenarios.